YouTube, Z Hill here with another awesome video for you guys. Today, this one's gonna be kind of a sad video. Um, as you all know, a couple days ago, Bobby the Brain Heenan passed away at the age of 72, 73, I think it is, or somewhere around those two ages. Um, and he was survived by with his, or he was surrounded by his family when he passed. Now he was a, he did a lot in his career. He he was a professional wrestler for a little bit, and then when he came to the WWE, he be, started managing people, as well as occasionally wrestling when either needed be or they just decided, hey. Let's throw Bobby Heenan in this, because he did this. And he uh, managed some of the greats. Some of, like, Andre the Giant, Ravishing Rick Rude, Hercules, um, who else? Mr. Perfect, Ric Flair, his little Heenan family that he created, um... Now, I did see over the past few days, trying to collect my thoughts about the whole situation, I did see that he had a lot of, he uh, had a lot a very bad throat cancer, which when they did the surgery, his face didn't look the same. He had a hard time talking because of all, the, all of his cancers that he had. And ultimately, cancer is the one that, um, took his life now honestly it once i saw it i at first i didn't believe it because a lot of people one per i saw it from like a couple people so i didn't think anything of it till i, re I um read on twitter read uh, more on facebook looked at like different websites where i know the news would have been posted and it was posted that he did in fact pass away now, it hit kind of hard for me because Bobby Heenan was an incredible man. I didn't get to meet him personally, in person, which I wish I would have because I could have told him how much he meant and how much I idolized him and how, to be quite honest, he's the reason that I, w when I was a kid, that I wanted to be a manager to a WWE superstar. For the longest time, he was one. He was the reason, because seeing all the things he did, all of his gimmicks, I guess you could say, but of being called the weasel and other things. But I have to say though, the one thing he'll be remember remembered most. Sorry, is the fact that him. And Gorilla Monsoon used to do commentary together before Raw got super big. Raw and it went to Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler. Now, he, Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon, they were phenomenal on the, on the mic together. And, sorry. And now... Like, like I've, well, I posted on my personal Facebook, but like I said, now the big Royal Rumble up there in heaven, they just added Bobby Heenan to the commentary table and him and Gorilla Monsoon are sitting there calling the biggest Royal Rumble in heaven history or I should say ever but um yeah Bobby Heenan will be missed I miss him very dearly I didn't know him personally but over the past few days I've been looking back at his career and looking back at videos of him talking doing interviews because he was one hell of a talker on the mic and Watching old matches he used to have even before he was in WWE and he was managing people. 
Which, hell, the night that the biggest moment in WWE history happened, the night Hogan body slammed, all right, or picked up Andre the Giant and body slammed him, Bobby in Bobby Heenan was there. He was managing Andre at the time, but at that on that night, Bobby Heenan was involved in three separate matches because he was managing three separate people. That was before the whole Heenan family. He made the whole stable of the Heenan family. But uh, yeah, I know this video is very very long, but I had I wanted to get my opinion out there. I wanted to tell you guys how much Bobby Heenan meant to me and how much he meant to everybody in the WWE universe. And um, he will be missed by all of his fans, his family, his friends, which my condolences go out to his family and friends during this whole very, very difficult time. And I'm going to kind of take a page out of his own book, out of Bobby's own book. And say his, the most famous line everybody knows knows him for. And that is, you listen to me, you go to the top. You don't listen to me, you're never heard from again. Rest in peace, Bobby.